How's it going guys, welcome back to my video. Today I'm gonna be going through a feature that's had in my wife's car that I had installed in my wife's car about two years ago, and that is the Viper Smart Start. Uh, it is installed on a 2016 Nissan Rogue that does not have the option for a factory remote start. So stay tuned on the video, and we're gonna get going with this. Alright guys, so today I figured I'd make this video because it's going to be one of the coldest days in the history of Chicago. We are looking at about negative 26 degree weather outside with a wind chill of negative 50 to 56 today. Two years ago, my wife uh, ended up purchasing a 2016 Nissan Rogue. She's loved that car, but it did not have an option for a factory remote start. So on my way to work today, I am taking her car. Uh, I just remote started it with that, so I wasn't able to show you that. I use the app and it's gonna be parked outside at work so yes they're having us go to work today so after that you guys will be seeing I'll give you, give you some of the features and how this works and I'll be showing you how to edit the remote start actually you use that remote start alright guys so now the car is currently in the garage and it's about I think it's about 37 degrees in the garage according to the readout if you can see that 37 degrees in the garage the other feature I have with this vehicle is with the I key itself, I could actually start the car. Now this one shows a remote start. Actually, let me take off this this panel here. This actually cover here. Hold on, I'll show you the actual I key. All right, there's the actual key right there. So if you notice, I got the lock, unlock, trunk, and panic button. Those are the three, four buttons that I have. No actual remote start. If it was a remote start on the factory key, it would have it up here, another button with a little um, counterclockwise arrow. Now, <clears throat> to start this car with this remote start, I could do it from the remote, which again, it's limited to this range. So this can be installed on any of your Nissan remotes. Push the lock button, one, two, three, and the car starts. That's one way to start it. The other way to start it, I'm gonna shut it off, shuts off the same way. Now the other way to start it would be would be with my phone, of course. Again, I'm close to it, and we're gonna try it here because I am in the garage, but the app on the phone is this. It's gonna be the remote start, smart start. Open that up, and which is gonna, now you got, of course you can see the lock, unlock buttons there. I got full signals, full signal on my phone. I'm, on, I'm in the Wi-Fi for the house, and we're gonna just go ahead and Slide that up. Now that's a smart start in progress. And there you have it. Just by using the remote, my phone. And that could be done virtually from anywhere, anywhere according to Viper. So kind of salty here. So we're gonna go ahead, go out in this cold weather, go to work, and then we're gonna try it out. And hopefully the car starts at work and I'm gonna start, start it from work inside the building when I leave work later today. So let's get going and go outside to this cold ass weather. I just left the garage according to this. It's 23 degrees outside. We're gonna see how quickly this drops. Uh, it's 6, 16 in the morning. So we'll see how quickly this drops with this temperature out here. We're at less than two minutes of driving and I'm down to two degrees already. All right, so another what? Four minutes, no, oh, two minutes, 6.20. Total of four minutes of driving. Negative 11 as the temperature reads. So I can feel the car idling kind of rough. Again, they're making us come into work. They're saying, you know, a lot of places are closed. My job, I'm not gonna mention it. They're making us come into work. I think it's BS. Um, a lot of things could happen. Uh, the car does feel like it's kind of like shaky a little bit. And it's a, it's a car, it's got 74,000 miles, but that's all highway. And you know, she's, she's constantly on the highway with this thing. So 620, negative 12, and it just keeps dropping and dropping and dropping. Uh, again, this does not include the wind chill, which the real feel is almost probably out there about negative 30 or so. So uh, gas tank is almost full. I was gonna stop, but I said never mind. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and just have see if the, I'll, I'll pull the car into the shop. Period. So I'm not gonna let my car sit outside at this point. And it should be okay with the you know three quarters full gas tank there. So all right, made it to work. Pulled inside. I'm not leaving my car outside today. 
uh, 654 and we're at negative 19 is we're actually stopped uh, about a minute ago before I pulled in we're actually the last re the last readout today so that's how cold it is I am not gonna leave the car outside it is too cold for this car to be sitting out there and not having a start later when I leave work so again I will show you guys the rest of the video on the remote start and starting it from the I was gonna show it to you while it was outside and starting it and see how it was but way too cold for that today so I will remote start it later on and I might do a another video on from where I'm far away from the vehicle And just like I said before, started it about back in the office and the car is now running. There you go. Getting warmed up for me, even though it's in the shop the whole day. I'm getting ready to go. Love this remote. Right, so I'm in a Walmart doing some shopping after I got out of work. We're gonna go ahead and speed mode start this car from inside the Walmart. We're almost all the way in the back of it. So let's take it out. All right, so we started our, we're gonna go pay for these products and uh, walk outside and see if it works. Now again, we're inside of the store, so probably a good 100, 200 yards away from the car. So let's see if the car started. All right, so now we're walking towards the car. We'll see, hopefully it's turned on. I'm gonna say hopefully it should be turned on. Add signal in there. So walking up to the car right now, you can see it, the exhaust is on, it is running, open the brake hatch. You guys can tell the car is going. Man, it's no joke out there. It's negative 11 degrees, that wind just got to feel like negative 30 or so. Whew. Anyways, so as you guys noticed, uh, I started the car inside of the Walmart with the app. So that's this video on showing you the remote start. It's something I've actually wanted to make a video for a while, but I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it is helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them down there and I will on the comments and I will try to answer them to the best of my abilities. If not, I'll try to find the answer for you guys. So I hope you guys like this video again. Don't forget to smash that like button on there. Subscribe. Also share it with, with your friends and everybody, especially if you got Nissans. Like I said, I've done it on, this is the second Nissan I've done it on and it works great. Guys, take care. I'll see you next time.